let go of it, it falls, right? We all know that. Okay. So the question is, what's keeping it up on the table? If I have to pull up, why does the table, can the table just push up? So let's take a look at taking this bowling ball and putting it on a meter stick here instead of the table. And you'll notice the meter stick bends a bit. And if we put a little heavier bowling ball on it, you will see that the meter stick bends a little further. Take another meter stick put it on there. Let's take our heavy bowling ball, rest it on there. It still bends a bit. Let's try four meter sticks. Bends a little bit, yeah. Up with seven meter sticks here. <clears throat> Not much of a bend there, yeah? So, what's going on with our table? Put the bowling ball on the table. right near the bowling ball, getting a little bit of a divot there. That area right there is bending ever so slightly, just as we saw seven meter sticks. Same bowling ball in it. We didn't see much motion. One meter stick, lots of motion. If we have something as rigid as the table, if we could get down there with a microscope, we could probably see it bend ever so slightly right there. And that's going to be our Elastic, this is like an elastic. If I let go, it springs back. So when we push that down, when we deform it, as long as it doesn't break, it has the potential to bend back up. Thus we know as it bends, it's providing a force back upwards to keep the bowling ball from falling down.